guys, Mr. Peter Obi has revealed how the duplication of his identity would have landed him into big trouble. I mean, real big trouble. He said rape, stealings, and other crimes were not ruled out. Just listen to him speak. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my sister. I'm dialing in from uh, the United States. I'm a big fan. Um, I, this, um, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I'm so excited talking to you. I, I've been telling everyone the timeline, like, I'm definitely going to pass out if I say hello to you. But um, <laughs> it's such an honor being here talking to you. And I Thank you. Think you any leader in Nigeria, you don't understand what you're doing for us right now. We love you, Peter Obi, and we, we're solidly behind you. Thank you, my Wherever you go, whatever you want, Whatever it is, just let us know. We love you. Now, I just have one question, and this is concerning the incident that happened at the other incident. Especially the fact that it happened after Festus Kayamo said that they are going to match Labour Party um, propaganda to propaganda, and then suddenly someone, we had the news that someone cloned your identity. So my question is, how are you handling that incident? And how would you prevent that from happening? Is the UK government cooperating with you to make sure that this does not repeat? And is there someone in custody? Is there any form of uh, case going on? I I'm just so curious about this, sir. Let me first, let me, uh, on behalf of the Villain family, most sincerely, congratulate you on your birthday. I know it was yesterday, but uh, we're still on evil months. So our sincere congratulations. May God Almighty, who have been with you, bless you all this while, grant you many more healthy, fruitful, and happy years, and continue to bless you always. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For, for what happened, um, my sister was um, very surprising to me. I've been to the UK this year at least four times. When I went to Chatham House, when I went there, when I was invited by the UK government, when I was, went to America, when I was, because before the elections, I was invited at the State House to listen. Shadows passed through the UK. So it was a surprising thing to me to appear before. I've lived there, of course, for years. Still own a property there, because that's where I lived before I became governor. And for me to appear at the airport and we were asked to sit down, I was surprised. But all this happened within a few minutes. I won't say that they, it was, I was happy about it. Because uh, it, there's, there's so many dramas that happened that trip that I can't tell uh, because we are conversation on the phone, but I can tell you a very shocking thing when somebody now appears and shows you that so, me. But when I now told a colleague and a friend of mine in the UK, he said, I'm going to refer you to identity duplication expert. And I went to see, after an hour, 20 minutes meeting, I came out short. Because I used to travel, of course. First, he told me, he said, Peter, listen, this is what I don't want to call, call some countries. I use it to track people. He said, Peter, you could be complicated for sort of a rent. Because simple, you book a hotel, they book the same hotel. They have their own gang who comes in there. You're in that hotel, set you up. At night, somebody says, oh, you did this, you did this. And they call police. In the UK, everywhere in the Western world, this is a serious case that you can't get a bail for. It could be because of the mother, 
because it's your duplicate. And because it's your identity, you checked into the same hotel, they use it to check into the same hotel. Same thing goes if they are checking any luggage, the same thing, you know, it went on and on and on, but thank God nothing happened. Managing it, you know, I've been to the UK since then, and um, while they, they too are investigating, we hope when I arrived after that, I was asked what went wrong. I explained to them when they found out it's duplicated, they said they are looking into it. That's all I can say for now. I'm also very careful, extremely careful. I'm managing it, I'm hoping nothing goes wrong. But it all started from here. That's all I can tell you. It's something that started from Nigeria. And I'm, I'm being careful about it. So guys, why should Mr. Peter Obi go through all this? Why should this man suffer? Why should Mr. Peter Obi ever experience this kind of thing? Just because he came into the polity. Just because he wants to become the president of Nigeria. Just because he contested for that position. And you can see that the opposition took this too far. As in, they took this too far because like you've heard him say that all this came from Nigeria. As in, it could be traced back from Nigeria. And guess what? Who would have done that if not from the opposition? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you.